Hi, we want to present about the Kentucky Fried Chicken Company. Hi, I am Fidas Abi Ibrahimi. I am the Chief Executive Officer for KFC Malaysia. Hi, I am Putri Bakis and I am the Board Treasurer of KFC Malaysia. Hi, my name is Datuk Rohain Ratulayla and I am Independent Executive Director. Hi, my name is Norhani Izzati Bita Muhammad Hassan and I am the Board Director of Audit Community. Tender, juicy and fresh. If your chicken isn't, we'll replace it. That's the Colonel's guarantee. Now that feels finger licking good. Hello! For chapter 1, which is background of the company, I'll be started with history of the company. KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, is a fried chicken restaurant business. It's founded in Louisville. The business is owned by brands which also own Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. Burger and wrap are the primary menu item at KFC. KFC offers grilled chicken, sides and dessert in addition to fried chicken. KFC offer beef based food like burger and kebab as well as pork based items like ribs and other ethnic cuisine. Due to KFC popularity and creativity, the fried chicken fast food chain general formula has been replicated everywhere. Colonel Harlan Sander founded KFC in 1952 Although the idea for fried chicken goes back to 1930, in 1991, the company acquired the shortened brand, which is KFC. KFC Holding Malaysia Berhad run a packaged chicken supermarket. KFC Holding operate about 500 KFC locations in Malaysia, as well as 35 Rasamas eateries. Our company own about 52 kedai ayamas, making us the country first branded chicken and chicken based supermarket change. Also, KFC is intensively involved in chicken production and manufacturing, as well as a number of auxiliary activity like as a vegetable cultivations, baking and sauce preparation, a powerful big business in Malaysia corporate and retail sector. KFC is known for its high-quality goods, dependable service, and financial strength. KFC is the largest fast food chain and largest chicken restaurant on the basis of sale since 1930. There are over 22,621 KFC outlets, more than 150 country territories around the world. The major market for KFC outlet internationally and sell its product according to geography need of the customer in Asia, Europe, Caribbean and South America. To be quite honest, KFC is serving a bigger proportion for the Western quick service restaurant market than McDonald's. Malaysia KFC franchises operate in Singapore, Brunei, Cambodia and India as well. Hey, for vision, the vision statement is simply description of what the company intends to become. KFC vision statement is to be leading integrated food services group in the Asian region, delivering consistent quality products and excellent customer focus service. It's to maximize profitability, improve shareholder value and deliver sustainable growth year after year. So for the vision, 
There are capsulation statement and capsulation. Capsulation statement, which is to support uh, to serve finger, uh, finger eating goods, food to all our customers. And for the capsulation, is our passion as a restaurant company is to put on uh, put on yams on people faces around the world, satisfying customer every time they eat our food and doing it better than uh, any other restaurant company. So the unique eating experience uh, at each of our restaurant make our customers smile and inspire their, their loyalty for our week. Toward the end, our associates around the world are free to be a customer manager. Okay, let's move on to the next slide which is organiza organizational culture. Uh, a company culture refers to the mindset, emotions and behavior of a company owners and workers. Uh, KFC business culture is directly linked to the visions and values that the business has adopted to create a workplace that attracts, engages, and retains the finest worker. KFC feels good, atmosphere is welcoming and supportive, with everyone urged to watch out of one and another. This particular culture extends throughout KFC's corporate structure rather than being specialized in any one location. And the working hours at KFC are flexible so that the time of for various school activities, extra curricular activities, sports and family events is possible for their workers. Many young workers begin their careers at KFC in order to support their families. As people progress in their careers, they learn that there are many great job options available. Employees who work as a team members get on the job training and the opportunity to cross train inside the restaurant and allowing them allowing them to require acquire new skills and employees learn how to communicate, operate as a team and handle money. Many of these abilities will have future life applications in addition to being useful at work. Uh, the KFC organization's excellent company culture helps every employee's the staff engagement has a direct relationship to employees' morale and productivity. This makes it more likely that people will return to re return and refer us to others. Employees who are excellent at their jobs are rewarded by the business in a way that stimulates the corporate culture. Money and hours, celebrations of achievement, life experiences, and discount are obtained by the team by the members of the team. Work work life balance discount and service recognitions and education help are offered to the managers. Additionally, workers may develop their careers inside of KFC franchise network. Opportunity for career advancement are distributed throughout the franchise and equity network. Uh, the business foundations were set from the beginning and so far KFC has demonstrated respect for the many culture and custom, custom of the nations where the company sells its goods. In keeping with the family philosophy, uh, KFC people name themselves a family therefore keep their workplace relationship in line. More factors need to be considered when giving an increase in responsible to a KFC manager. Besides professional abilities, practice experience and results, it emphasizes the individual integrity and bravery. This encompasses the ability and the desire to initiate project, project and accept risks as well as the capacity to remain calm and composed while dealing with stress. Hi, I'm going to um, continue about the KFC logo. We know KFC logo have changed time by time and since 1952 okay uh, the KFC new logo introduced uh, which colonel white suit jacket was replaced with a red apron granting him additional uh, credit and inspiring uh, him as a chef uh, black white deep red and subtle with uh, flash tones give the logo a colder more uh, universal look the use of red contribute greatly to the emblem, uh, bold and vibrant look due to the company's delicious uh, delicacy. Uh, the red color is retained to entice uh, the food lovers for KFC. Hi, I'm going to continue the CPM, that is Competitive Profile Matrix. Uh, the comp uh, Competitive Profile Matrix CPM is an instrument uh, that measures up KFC and its competitors and prove their relative strengths and weakness. 
uh, the CPM studies indicate that KFC is the industry strongest uh, players with uh, relative strength in product quality, quality of service, uh, employee behavior, and reputation. Uh, McDonald's uh, prevail in environment uh, cleanliness and including drive through and parking. Uh, Texas Chicken is the smallest among them all but has one relative strength uh, which is capacity seating arrangement. Uh, if you have been to Texas Chicken, you can see uh, their seating arrangement is better than others and against its competitor is the most important sector of the industry. KFC should maintain uh, and expanding their score uh, as per their strengths and weakness. And I can conclude that KFC strategy is aggressive than his competitor that is between McDonald and uh, Texas Chicken. This is our board of director in KFC Malaysia, Datu Fedaus Abid as Chief Executive Officer, Datin Putri Balkis as Board Treasurer, and Datuk Rohan Ratulaila as Independent Executive Director. And lastly is Dr. Hani Izati as our Board Director Audit Committee. SWOT Analysis Moving on to the next slide which is KFC SWOT Analysis. Uh, firstly, I will, I will talk about the KFC strength, a strong international present. KFC has almost 19,000 restaurants that, that are being run around the world and KFC is a model of the franchise and globally it is managed well. KFC or strong presence worldwide is a key strength to the brand. And secondly is the fast growth. The brand has, been, has seen immediate growth ever since its formation. The brand has expanded well in Asia and China being the main for its ASEAN expansion. In the year 2015, the brand, ha the brand has opened about 753 top restaurants in China and subsequently increased over the years. And thirdly is strong financial conditions. KFC has since a strong financial performance at the global level. During the year 2015, the company has generated income uh, of 16, bi 16 billion. The, the brand has seen a great performance in Europe and Russia that is a great strength for the company and also they outdo the competitors in China KFC has developed a great lead of, over its competitors apart from China it has also seen uh, an incredible increase over its competitor over the emerging emerging market and next is their diversity in menu KFC has grown to great in height with its menu. It includes both vegetarian and non-vegetarian food uh, in its menu to attract customers. Its various menus in lunchbox have got, got great visibility among the eaters. Few of its products are signature combo, hot wings, popcorn nugget, uh, classic meal, kid meals, family meals. And then the loyal customer base. The brand sees a huge loyal customer base that keep KFC growing. Its secret crunchy chicken preparation is loved all by all its customers. Due to its huge customer base, the brand sees enormous growth thus highlighting its profit. And lastly is their trade secret. KFC has a trade secret that is seen in its preparations. Its trade, the secret behind its delicious crunchy chicken recipes is the 11 herbs and spices recipe. The recipe is original and is unidentified to the public. Every company has its own strength and also they have the weaknesses. And first KFC weakness that we have analyzed is untrustworthy supplier. Some of the KFC suppliers have proven that they are not trustworthy and cause huge reputational, reputational damage to the company. For instance, it came to the light in 2012 uh, that a number of KFC suppliers in China used their poultry in a way that violated China's law with growth hormones and excessive antibi antibiotics and secondly is issues on food uh, for fast food food quality has been a problem in recent years KFC has been very critical on food issues such as the use of trans fats in the cooking of non veg foods people are so aware of their health and it's their priority 
in the present generations. Therefore, this is a customer problem and tend to avoid the brands. Customer would look for brands which are safe and cook food, cook food in hygienic oils. KFC food is still in the fat in the fats of fast food product and the brand's ability to get more customer is a weak point. The brand whole menu is bound to contain more calories when it come to be when it come to more chicken products. And thirdly is franchisee operations issues. Franchisee issues are common among the different brands of restaurants. If the franchisee does not operate in a similar way, they will certainly lose the, repu the reputation of the brand. And the menu and other operational issues are the issues the franchises have faced many difficulties. As a result, the managers and the franchise owners suffer from this this dissatisfactions and discontent with when the brand is faced with such problem the income will be become a major weak point and lastly is supplies and distribution change issues KFC has previously faced problem in terms of distributions of chicken the KFC problem had large affected the result of a couple of stores in the UK this problem had also affected their income to resolve these issues, a significant amount of marketing and logistical efforts was expect expended. This type of issue are a weakness because they will lead to the brand decline due to the product unavailability. Moving on to the next slide which is the KFC opportunities. KFC opportunities is their potential growth in emerging market. Emerging market are experiencing maximum growth. China and Russia represent a long-term potential market for KFC. Additionally, there is a still considerable opportunity for the KFC to expand its franchisee network in this developing market. As a result, KFC sees a tremendous opportunity in extending its business into additional potential markets resulting in increased sales. Next is changing menu to target health. Today, generation is extremely health aware. People enjoy food that are low in fat but still tasty. Few people avoid KFC or restrict their use uh, to a few days per week because of these factors. However, KFC should have a menu that keeps its food low in calories while maintaining its flavor, thus attracting a large crowd and increasing their benefits. And second, and thirdly is low cost food. Customer preference has shifted significantly. They require nutritious food and superior customer service as well as a lower lower price good. As a result, KFC's emphasis should be on low cost food in addition to nutritious food to boost sales. This will result in an increase in brand awareness. And thirdly is low cost food. Customer preference have shifted significantly. They required healthy food and superior customer service as well as lower price good. As a result, KFC emphasis should be on low cost food in addition to healthy food to boost their sales. This will result in increase in brand awareness. Next is including more vegetarian menu. Though KFC has expanded into the vegetarian food uh, segment, they appear to have a few vegetarian options than their competitors. Thus, expanding the vegetarian menu in the same way they have expanded the non-vegetarian menu will help the brand grow. Next is cheap menu people love. KFC provides generous portions at unaffordable price. When it's time to grab something inexpensive and simple for dinner, people will still fall towards unique flavors. And lastly is home meal delivery. KFC should comp completely capitalize on it is currently testing delivery services, this opportunity and expand its customer base. Lastly, I will talk about the KFC trade. First is hundreds of fast food restaurants in the neighborhood. Fast food will as often possibly have a more neighborhood approach to conveying food and a menu that precisely reflect neighborhood taste. Despite the truth that KFC does an amazing work of adjusting in menu to never inclinations, the developing number of neighborhood fast food questions and their 
capture perfect red posture, a challenge to KFC. Secondly, is raw material cost. KFC use of economic of scale to buy raw materials raises manufacturers' reliance on them. As a result, vendors earn a significant portion of their business from KFC and are expected to stay faithful and deliver the best possible price in order to keep the fast food restaurant as a client. A rise in the raw material cost uh, can have an impact to the showcase and the KFC segment is no exception. Thirdly, eating healthy is becoming more prominent due to government and different organi organizations attempt to battle overweight. Uh, individuals are becoming more aware of eating healthy food instead of what KFC primarily offer in its menu. The public the public is talking well being into their possessed hands by understanding how fast food things are made and the number of calories in each alternative and seeing through tricky advertisement language. It's an incredible stride for buyers but makes company like KFC apprehensive. And fourthly is fast food market in developing economies are oversaturated. The fast food industry in developing countries is now overloaded with several fast food restaurant chains and posing a challenge to KFC's ability to expand in this market. KFC is not the fast food industry super real. It's not close in several respects. As a result, it must contain in a competitive market with the bigger and the middle tier players. Fifthly is problem with food consistency. Food quality is a vital challenge sometimes recently in KFC within the within the past two. It has confronted critical feedback over the quality of oil it's employed for cooking its food. Well-being and food quality related have moreover uh, developed more strengthened universally and usually a major challenge sometimes recently fast food brands like KFC, McDonald's, Burger King and others. And lastly is the currency fluctuations. KFC gets income of its pay from the from the outside operations. That pay must be changed over into dollar and may influence the business benefits, uh, particularly when the when the dollar is increasing in value against other monetary forms. The trade rate between the US dollar and outside monetary forms may have a negative impact on KFC comes about due to a more prominent extent of deals being made in remote monetary forms. This may lead to higher working costs and which in turn will influence the benefits. So it shows the uh, global problem of the, uh, of the KFC. So there are various distinctions as well as many diverse tastes in different countries. In keeping with their religion, they believe their eating habits have altered. Many of them like to eat non-vegetarian meals or have vegetarian food on the menu. It seems that people just prefer um, food and beverage according to their taste. An extension of the product's brand can, on occasion, be tied to culture of country or in the case of a nation, uh, to the people of, the, of this country may not want the brand in their nations. So the service given by a restaurant is not sufficient to suit the needs of its client and, um, and how a restaurant chooses to promote itself can affect this, uh, this customer as well. And uh, so for the, uh, the other problem, uh, uh, firstly is KFC challenges unsafe food claim. So an NGO in India claims uh, that KFC contains hazardous bacteria in their meals. And it is unhealthy for ingestion, uh, even though they have uh, gathered samples from five different, from five different KFC locations. And those samples tested unsafe in, uh, in Belangana State's Food Laboratory uh, as of uh, So this remark uh, was in reply to this uh, KFC public relations representative stated that uh, the, uh, the sample uh, which any NGO took uh, did not originate, originate from them. So, uh, secondly, is KFC big fat is also an issue. So, as a result of their lawsuit, the fast food company KFC is in a hot water. So, a court has ruled that they use cooking oil that contains trans fat, and that trans fat in cooking oil can lead to the heart disease and diabetes. So, one thing that I have discovered uh, is that most the most people um, 
that most people aren't aware of the situation that's making people sick. So, uh, why does KFC not use a healthier oil? Unlike the majority of fast food companies, KFC cooks its food in partly hydrogenated uh, vegetable oil, which does not become uh, which does not become rancid as quickly as a healthier oil. Uh, Non-hydrogenated oils can also make chicken crispy and may enhance the flavor of chicken when fried in it. So doctors recommend avoiding trans fat as much as possible because they raise the bad cholesterol and release good cholesterol in our body. So CSPI sweet KFC for the second time in three years. So for the third point is uh, the first uh, the first food is uh, the worst kind of fat. So certain well-known well known fast food as well, using an excessive uh, quantity of trans fat in their diabetes. In the other case, so the third point is the fast food is the worst kind of fat. Certain well known fast food restaurants use an excessive quantity of trans fat in their dishes, such as french fries, chicken nuggets, and the more various by region. So, researchers discovered that the daily consumption of the 5 grams of trans fat increased the risk of heart attack by 25%, and the research discovered that 19 large KFC dinner had more than 5% trans fat. So trans fat caused irregular heartbeat and increased the risk of arterial inflammation. Additionally, it increases the body's harmful cholesterol level. Every state should enact stringent, um, stringent uh, legislation governing fast food rules. So uh, fourthly is uh, about the big food and its problem. So fast food and low nutrition foods are to blame for the global surge in obesity, which is going to make people sick. Diseases such as irregular heartbeat, high cholesterol, and most notably, uh, most of the type, uh, type 2 diabetes have become quite common in recent years. Uh, small countries suffer the most as a result of this modern trend, as citizens believe that eating fast food is a new fashion and, uh, and are unaware of the harm caused by this practice. So lastly is the big fat problem with Chinese cities. China has a large concentration of fast food as well as a result of rising, uh, rising per capita income, urbanization, and demand for international cuisine. As a result of these causes, uh, KFC expanded to 600 locations throughout China, and China is currently being the physical expense of this. Uh, and according to a renowned media uh, of the Global Times, China now has the highest rate of obesity in the world. So now we go to the KFC problem in Malaysia, which is the first one is government. So the government in the first issue that that is the, uh, that KFC addresses. So there has lately been a proposal made by the government to counter the accusation that fast food is unhealthy for consumer. As a shame, uh, essentially, the, uh, the proposal calls for a complete ban of all advertising for fast food business, which would include KFC Malaysia. Once the idea is approved by the government, KFC Malaysia will have a difficult time promoting their products in the country. So, secondly, is the cost, uh, secondly is the customer complaint. So, customer complaints um, uh, that KFC Malaysia has been dealing with recently. During the avian flu outbreak a few years back, KFC should have noticed that there were objections from consumers claiming that eating meat is unsafe and that it, got, uh, that, and that it contains hazardous substances. Based on the situational analysis, the company should have noticed this. This will eventually result in poor image for a client who have been persuaded by them, which will in turn result in terrible image for a uh, Thirdly, uh, the McDonald getting more growth rate. So according to the finding of the situational study, McDonald ratio is actually increasing at a quicker rate than calcination. If this situation does not improve quickly, McDonald market share will begin to expand and the company will be forced to compete, uh, to compete with KFC in the middle. Uh, and the fourth way is a lack of manpower. In addition, um, according to the situational analysis, uh, there is a significant uh, disparity between the number of workers and the number of branches for both KFC Malaysia and McDonald's. 
McDonald's having significantly more personnel for each of its branches. KFC will be less expensive in terms of human resources, while McDonald's will be more efficient in terms of productivity. And the last thing is corporate tax increase. Malaysia's budget for 2008 includes a reduction of 25% in corporate tax rates. In spite of the fact that this uh, may benefit on the Disney benefit of KFC in Malaysia, it also portrays the threat of the new competitors in the fast food market. So, as a result of decreased taxes, new competitors can enter the market with greater ease than they could be, uh, than they could previously. Internal factor evaluation, which is IFE, the main internal component. Overall weight score is 2.93. KFC has strong internal structures. As a result, KFC received a score of 2.93 out of 4 which is above of the average. This may mean that KFC has a lot of work ahead of it. KFC weakness link is their unreliable supplier, which is at 0.08 times the change total weight. The information on this IFE battery is important for formulating a strategy, including the possibility that the KFC corporations want to execute an effective approach or search for other way to address this problem. So for the external factor evaluation matrix EFE uh, shows that as demonstrated by the 0.6 score, the most essential external factor for business success uh, is expanding into the balance menu. So uh, finally, refer to this. Uh, refer to the figure weight score of 3.38 is above the average, which is the midpoint of 2.93 in table one. So this KFC does very well to keep ahead of the external possibilities and prevent unnecessary the, the threat facing uh, the company. So we should go for aggressive strategy because score is above than 2.5. Hi, I'm going to continue the CPM, that is Competitive Profile Matrix. Uh, the comp uh, Competitive Profile Matrix CPM is an instrument uh, that measures up KFC and its competitors and proves their relative strengths and weakness. Uh, the CPM studies indicate that KFC is the industry's strongest uh, players with uh, relative strengths in product quality, quality of service, uh, employee behavior, and reputation. Uh, McDonald uh, prevail in environment uh, cleanliness and including drive through and parking. Uh, Texas Chicken is the smallest among them all but has one relative strength uh, which is capacity seating arrangement. Uh, if you have been to Texas Chicken, you can see uh, their seating arrangement is better than others and against its competitor is the most important sector of the industry. KFC should maintain uh, and expanding their score uh, as per their strengths and weakness and I can conclude that KFC strategy is aggressive than his competitor that is between McDonald and uh, Texas Chicken okay, now we move on to IE manager may utilize the IE metric while formulating strategies for their divisions to help guide their decision making the internal external which is IE metric is a combination of internal and external business variable integrated into a model that suggests a strategy for addressing the company. We will build a horizontal line in the X and Y plane using the IE metric and then display the total weighted scores on the Y axis. When you have completed the IFE computations on the IFE metric, Plot the IFE score on the X axis and then draw a vertical line on the IFE plane that intersects the X axis to show that IFE score has been calculated. Total X axis, total X, Y. Study KFC IFE and EFE matrices intensively which allow us to correctly plot the firm's positions which is in this figure. When the following step, growth and building method is used as shown, KFC occupies the position of cell number 2 in the figure. 
KFC may pursue intense approach such as marketing penetrations, market growth, and product development or an integrative strategy such as backward integrations, forward integrations, and horizontal integration. According on the conditions, we choose a systematic method after considerable thought. Strategy plan. Hi, I'm going to continue about the BCG, that is Boston Consulting Group metric. There are have four. There is a uh, stars, a uh, cash cow, a uh, question mark, and dog. Okay, the first one I'm going to talk about the star. For this segment, uh, bargain fees fall into this segment since uh, KFC bargain fees come into the category of star. Most of the revenue of KFC Malaysia generated by bargain fees is supported by the most consumer will look for KFC bargain fees out of the menu especially when they are from people living with a family and friends it seems it's a good deal it will give you a few pieces of chicken and it will give you one bowl of mashed potato and one bowl of coleslaw and also will give you a big bottle of Pepsi since it's I think it's a price around 20 something uh, that but it have come with a lot of things so people want to grab this thing uh, more than the others and the next one is the f uh, full of cash cow category uh, which are operating uh, in low sales growth industry <coughs> but market share is very hard KFC burger segment fall into the category of a cash cow uh, KFC have been knocking this segment for years despite the low industry growth rate Burger segment is generating a huge uh, revenue KFC Burger is one of the leading segment in the burger industry The the, the product under the burger segment is uh, Zinger Burger, Colonel and Twister The third one is the question mark Operating a high sales growth uh, rate industry and has a low Reactive market share KFC cheese wages uh, Segment can be labeled as a question mark Why? Because the profit uh, center has a low market share Cheese wages segment is growing each year in the term of sales And KFC cheese wages, uh, cheese wages uh, Should decide whether to invest more To increase the segment uh, share of sales If more money is invested in cheese wages Segment may turn into stars it is investing more money in the segment by making new menu for uh, their cheese wages maybe another size uh, shapes and flavors and lastly the dog the segment which are operating in low uh, low sale growth industry has uh, have a low market share none of kfc segment fall into this category uh, this is support why people that have do not have attraction purchase it because of kfc uh, main focus is support by people uh, where they do not have attraction to purchase it because of KFC main focus is on diversity menu rather than focus to keep meals therefore this product is weak in the market difficult to make money the example of product that fall under this segment are the kids meal before this and have end since 2000 if I was not mistaken since 2011 market penetration okay now we move on to market penetration when it comes to market penetration it refers to the amount of product or service that is being utilized by consumer in relation to the entire projected market for that product or service in order to expand the market share of specific product or service company yeah. must use tactic which target market penetration Market penetration is when businesses seek to increase their market share by demonstrating the presence of the KFC goods. When it comes to a decent product with attractive packaging, it will attract consumers who want to test the food. KFC may perhaps go with different package. A vacuum packed product will help goods stand out from the rival. Where did you go? Love has begun 
under the sun, walk in the sand, come take my hand. Just friends waiting to happen. KFC Bucket Bersama. Made to share with family, friends and soon to be friends. Okay, next is for price. KFC may plan their pricing approach to enhance market penetration. According to the company, to attract customer for either a short term or a long term plan, the price may be rise or lower as necessary. The truth of the matter is that they must compute the break even effect of the price shift to evaluate whether they have accomplished their goal of entering the market. About pricing is a cheaper price that may be negotiated with KFC for merchant or supplier that buy a significant quantity of goods. This middleman will advertise the goods to other areas in an indirect manner, thus increasing the market penetration. For example, if you want to celebrate your birthday at KFC, you can ask their event planner and then they will give you the top price. Here's our domain. Okay, this is what KFC do. KFC collaborate with Walmart to sell fire lock. As you can see, this fire lock is not regular fire lock. It smell like KFC. Wow, yummy! And it's only sell at Walmart. And please don't eat this fire lock. Okay, next is oh, what is this? Do you love world famous fried chicken? Do you love croc? Do you love brand spoke person like Colonel Sanders? Then, boy, howdy! Do we have something for you? Hmm, cover in fried chicken cream and a striped face. This will make your dream of wearing bucket of chicken finally come true. Finally. Your two favorite friends, Imotai, is on the river to prove our collaboration happens. Each pair of co-branded footwear come with two jeepies charm made to resemble a smell like fried chicken. Not for human consumption. Yes, these are real. Yeah, proof. KFC X Crocs. Nothing tastes better than our chicken. Oh, except free chicken. <laughs> Introducing KFC's app, Colonel's Club. It's the easy way to get free chicken at KFC. It's as easy as one, two, three. Start by downloading our app. Complete the easy registration and then verify your email and get three free stamps. That's enough for two free hot wings for you to use straight away. Now, every time you visit KFC, all you need to do is just scan the barcode in your app and you'll collect free chicken. You receive a stamp every time you spend £3 and two stamps when you spend more than £15. So look, when you're ready to redeem, just tell our cashier for your free KFC reward. Oh, by the way, three stamps equals two free hot wings, small popcorn chicken or regular side. But seven stamps, you get a free snack, including a mini fillet burger, snack box or a delicious crush'em. And at 11 stamps, get a full £5 off any order. Pretty good, eh? Plus, there are exclusive offers for Colonel's Club members in the app. All you need to do is tap My Rewards in the app to find the latest ones. Oh, and don't forget, you can share the love by getting your friends to sign up too. Share your code on Facebook, email or text. And if your friend signs up with your code and then spends, you'll get three free stamps every time. Now, that could add up pretty quickly to a lot of free chicken. <laughs> For the love of chicken, download our app on App Store or Google Play.
product development. The first product development we suggest is brownies. We intend to introduce chocolate brownies for chocolate uh, enthusiasts. We anticipate and treating a regular loyal client base with its attractive assortment of brownies with include non-traditional taste. Uh, we will concentrate on delivering the highest quality product possible. Pricing is competitive, innovative concept and flavors. Local marketplace with a special emphasis on client of coffee shop and bakeries. We will sell chocolate brownies in a warm environment with a great customer service. Customer can dine in and pair their brownies with a warm and cool beverage. When consumer dine in, topping will be also available for children and the young at heart. Our next idea is black bean ice cream. KFC can also come up with ice cream dessert like ice cream vanilla mixed with chips more and so on or they can collect with big names or artists to gain more a uh, customer for example uh, they can produce black pink ice cream that collaboration with k-pop girl group they can make uh, ice cream with black pink themes for example uh, pink and black or pink white black ice cream why? <laughs> The sale will increase to take example from McDonald's how people go crazy with BTS meals and people non-stop coming to buy that food from McDonald's. So why not KFC try to this uh, to do this uh, product development? Our third idea we want to introduce is plant-based food product for KFC. The original recipe of fried chicken that feature a mixture of 11 secret herbs and spices can be the main driving force for KFC for the previous 75 years. The wide menu and many different alternatives offered by KFC allow the customer to personalize their meals. Similarly, the addition of plant-based food product has also helped to increase in the number of customers and revenue for KFC. Attract people that are not a meat lovers and come to eat KFC also since already at a plant-based menu. The last idea is why not we add fries with a variety of seasoning and flavor. We know that french fries at KFC only had one type only. Maybe we should add more flavor of fries. Maybe fries with seaweed, BBQ fries or sour cream fries so that customer got lots of flavor to choose from. Not just a boring same fries flavor and it will make KFC unique from the other fast food store since they sell not just one but a variety type of fries to choose from. People will be excited to try. Market Development Ideology Contactless pickup food order. The coronavirus outbreak has impacted the way eateries operate in many ways. Contactless technology or contactless. This idea affects common expect in restaurants such as point of sales terminal or self order kiosk. But the greatest innovation is box office contactless. The ticket office compartment are simply closed and opened by a digital signal. This digital signal can be a code entered via telematic or other technology. KFC has launched to install several local contactless in their Japanese restaurant. The system integrates with KFC Mobile, so after placing an order and paying, the consumer gets a code in the app to unlock the locker. The compartments are designed for a quick collection and therefore are not cool or heated. Thanks to this, they can be used both to deliver hot meals and cold drink. KFC has put infographic that explain how the contactless locker work to help those who may be confused, as the store products are prepared according to the time of arrival and stored in the pickup locker. Customer can receive the product by entering the order number in the pickup locker when they come to the store. Providing product without waiting time not only improves the easiness of purchase for customer, but can also be expected to have the effect of moving productivity. This is one of the development that we want to make in KFC Malaysia.
FC Robotic System during the pandemic months, robot has grown rapidly in previously unaffected businesses. This is how restaurants work. The Russian capital now boosts a KFC. People on the street of Moscow can now go to their favorite fast food joint and be served by a robot. What makes the recently launched KFC in Moscow stand out from other automated catering experiences is that even the last detail has been super supervised by robot, which is rare. There is always the chance that the new catering technology will be challenging for diners who are not used to working with the new system. Because within the building, the lost consumer can use the SOS kiosk to get help. This kiosk called the one employee in the restaurant the manager who will guide the inexperienced customer to the best possible experience. The kitchen robot prepared ingredients and then passed them through the cooktop. A conveyance line of Automata ensures that the house recipes are authentically KFC. In this production line, many robots accurately perform repetitive duties such as selecting the meat to be utilized, buttering, and so on. In this way, the fast food business has used modern technologies, mainly robotic and facial recognition, to set itself apart from the competitors. Uh, this is what we want to imply in the KFC Malaysia. KFC Face Pay System Diners at KFC can pay with face. A new terminal in the restaurant wall lets our order and scans the client face. We can now forget about cash, credit card, and smartphones. They are customizing the payment mechanism to allow their customer to pay with their face. Order a K-Pro, a well-known KFC brand in China, then scan their face. After confirming payment, the consumer enters their phone number to confirm payment. A restaurant employee will later serve their food. The system is built on Financial Alipay, a digital pa payment platform with over 500 million users globally and allow users to access their application. Official says it's KFC's first actual outlet to take payment via facial recognition software. We will have to wait a few months to see it develop in Malaysia and evaluate the result in China. KFC Nail Polish The KFC has dared to enter the Chinese market with one edible pintau. Both men and women appreciate the crispy chicken traditional recipe, which is original recipe and hot and spicy, wherever and whenever. Who hasn't suck their fingers to make the most delectable food taste exactly right? Also, that joy is meant to be repeated at KFC Hong Kong and will be developed in KFC Malaysia in order to attract the customer. KFC World of Fashion and Garment Is there anything you don't know about KFC? Colonel Sanders' latest escapade has been developing a clothing collection that is already sold out in America. This new KFC clothing collection is so popular that within 24 hours, a third of the products are sold. The designer of this collection has been able to deliver absolutely pinpoint and provide engagement real items. The clothes are totally Instagrammable and they are aesthetic hipster, perfectly blended with current trends of teenage fashion. You can even get a necklace that says, finger looking good. The set comprises jogger with trendy nuggets, fries and also socks. Definitely, it's a must for everyone dressing this season. Why we choose this for our market development? Malaysia has around 600 KFC restaurants, making it one of the world's largest. The popular streetwear brand believes such profound and long-lasting appreciation merit respect. This development will make sales bomb out in KFC Malaysia as well as attracting new customers, engage and purchasing a KFC product more. KFC Genshin Impact The premier global fried chicken distributor specifically named Shack the state of Kentucky as part of its name. 
Despite Big KFC being a pointedly American brand, the company has begun a collaboration abroad with Genshin Impact. The Genshin Impact KFC skin is a new cosmetic for your in-game glider, featuring the iconic red, white and black colorways that you see at every KFC. If you get the skin, you will be able to equip it to any Genshin Impact character, showing your KFC pride every time you glide. Believe it or not, KFC regularly collaborates with mobile games with anime styling in China. They have previously done promotional events with games like Girlfriend Line, Art Night, and Identity V. All of these titles have global audience, but the KFC collaboration are always exclusive to Chinese players. You can earn the Genshin Impact KFC skin by purchasing a big old bucket of fried chicken from KFC. Doing this will reward you with code that can be redeemed in-game that will grant you the crispy KFC wing. Perhaps one day, the KFC Malaysia will get its own Genshin Impact or any other anime and gaming fast food collaboration. That's why. Development Geographical As you can see in Graph Global fast food chain KFC, a subsidiary of Young Brand accounted for 25,000 restaurants worldwide during the 2020 financial year. This showed an increase of 896 restaurants over the previous year total. Based on map, KFC deals internationally and has number of outlets in various countries. KFC sells its product according to the geographic needs of the customers worldwide and it is measurable. Conclusion and Recommendations And lastly, as for the conclusion and recommendations, we have concluded that we need to enter a new era of digitization in KFC services. It is to increase the overall efficiencies of business and process while maintaining consistency and quality across the country and improve the facility, a better informa informational exchange and help in providing customer service anywhere in the world and it is also reduce operational costs and prevent prevents human error and improve the continuity of big business growth and secondly we are going to add another industry in kfc which is fashion line it is to establish establish a clear brand in the identity that connects with our target market fashion can also be a part of food culture it helps to people it's help people to show uh, what they stand for and what can even aid in honoring their faith and values such as turban hijab and other accessories that symbolize people's of people's ways of life and fashions there to keep that honors and also to provide a bit of expressions especially for our KFC customer and thirdly, we are going to become more updatable to current famous trends. It is it will assist the company to make a better forecasting and business idea. Trends are very important because they are documentations of progress and experimentations and allow us to connect with people in this very moment. Could you imagine looking back into a trendless history? You wouldn't be able because there will be no visible progress. We will have a lineage of sameness. Famous trends is an opportunity to do something new, uh, not just for an individual standpoint, but on the ma macro levels. And trends allows us to shift cultural currents and ultimately depict an underlying intuitions. We also going to collaborate with more huge brands. It will lead KFC toward a greater success rate of accomplishing a similar goal with with a huge brand. It also helps to grow our company network. One of the biggest benefits of collaboration is the opportunity of learning. In fact, every interactions we have with some outside will immediately circle can teach us something valuable some of the most successful collaborations involve two professionals who bring two different skill sets perspective and strength to the to the table when this happens we are certain certain to be surrounded by learning opportunities and lastly we are going to enable healthy approach in capsis menu to create a well balanced and nutrient rich diet that will improve customer perceptions of the KFC brand Healthy, healthy food menu will be such a big help for our company to boost more sales. That's all from us. Thank you. 
Thank you for spending time watching us.